Hello, everyone. Welcome to the update on understanding registrations for 2020-2021 fall and winter programming for Central Georgia Futsal. In this unprecedented COVID year, we felt that we should make a video and further explain questions that have come up so far via email or telephone calls um, about the registration process and how it's going to run. So first things first, I like to welcome everybody on this presentation and invite you to go to Central Jersey League.com or plain old Central Jersey Futsal.com. There are two different URLs which drive you in the same space in the same area for returning teams managers coaches you will notice that the side has been changed has been updated it doesn't look the same as last year as we have updated and created a lot of new programs but feel that we've done a really good job on making the process of looking up events, registering for events, and guiding um, a lot easier and seamless to get to, always trying to improve the player, coach, manager, family process. So while you come on this new registration and general Central Georgia Futsal website, um, either on your mobile device or in your desktop, there's two options to enter our website. One is get access. And if you click on the get access button, you will automatically go into the second page, which tells you the events that are being offered this year, league play, tournaments, futsal training, free agent player, street futsal, player scholarship fund, adult futsal play, Champions Cup series, or a core coaching parents and uh, education piece. I'm not going to get into it. It's one of them. They're kind of self-explanatory. Please clock, click on them, and you will see a brief description of whatever it is. So it's either that, or if you scroll down the first page, it's also links here where you directly go to that particular um, page of the event that you are interested in. So let's address the first two, uh, first of all, youth leagues and youth tournaments. For Central Georgia Futsal has expanded its league programming as well as their uh, offering tournaments, uh, one-day tournaments, as well as our championship cup series. Last year, we only offered the championship cup series. This year, we are uh, building on last year's success of that tournament and offering a lot one-day tournaments. Once again, if you choose to go into a tournament, you can click directly, hit, click on it. You'll be brought into the page where it gives you the option, are you interested into the championship tournaments or the one-day tournaments? Should you be interested in one-day tournaments? If you click on them, all the details are on here, the dates, and then you can go ahead and register for each tournament underneath. If you... Um, are interested in the championship tournaments, same thing applies. If you are interested in the youth leagues, you click directly. It'll tell you what types of leagues that we offer, what's, uh, what's uh, included, the dates, registration process, and link. Uh, and, of course, very important, the return to futsal guidelines and, of course, the league uh, rules. So once you decide which league you want to um, register in, and it, it, every league has three packages this year, but I want to just use the first one, the Futsal 8 package. It tells you what inclu it's included. Eight 40-minute games. This year, to help teams with their budget, we have included the insurance for up to 10 players in the registration fee. Previous years, your registration insurance uh, fee was um, an additional expense to each player. So after you registered for your uh, team event, each player had to individually go and register for their insurance 
uh, fee, which is, you know, the uh, pass that you get for the league. And that was uh, a charge of $13.50 per player. This year, we're also giving two futsal balls to every team. From years past, we've noticed that teams did not have futsal balls in their games. So we have partnered up with Sanda, and we are offering uh, at no expense to you guys two futsal balls per team. And lastly, your your referee fees, um, depending on the age you're in, two certified futsal re- referees for the older ages and one futsal referee for the younger ages. So basically, your whole package is done for you. You don't have to show up and spend any additional money. Uh, the projected dates, again, the league is going to run from January 3rd to February 28, 2021. There will be no games on uh, futsal, I'm sorry, on football Super Bowl Sunday. All the games are done in one venue, that being Sportica Sports, and every week are Sunday games. As far as the exact times of the games, depending on your age group, you'll have an approximate uh, idea of, uh, you know, a window. Let's say you're playing, for example, you know, you 14, your games might be, you know, 9 to 11 window. Um Coaches that have multiple teams, that coach multiple teams, as just what we've done in previous years, we give preferential uh, scheduling. So you'll be playing one game on, one game off, or back-to-back games. We want all the teams to come in, play their games, and go on with our dates. At no point will you be traveling in different venues one Sunday playing in East Brunswick, next Sunday playing in Marlboro, next Sunday playing – in Manalapan. All the games are in the same venue, so you can kind of um, have an easier time on managing your schedules as families. With that being said, when it comes to your registration, this year we have partnered up with God Soccer, so all the registration process should be very familiar to most of you. If for any reason you've never used God Soccer, I'll just give you a brief idea what it's like and basically um, see how easy it is. So once you click on the registration now button, it will take you directly to God Soccer. Now you have two options here. If you've already played an event in God Soccer, if your outdoor team plays at an event or a league that uses God Soccer registration, all your information is in there. So all you really have to do is just put your usernames, your password will populate, and you're in the website. If you're a new team, if you're a team that's maybe being formed just for the sake of playing futsal with many different players, well, you just got to create a new registration. It's that simple. You choose your your uh, group, male, female, co-ed is for the adult leagues, um, and then just choose your age group and go through the process, and you have a, um, a registration intact. You don't have to input a roster as we are going to guide you and send you a uh, form to – fill in all your roster. Now, here's what's very important. If you are entering more than one team, if you already are in God Soccer, you won't be able to split your team in two sides. That means that once you enter your credentials, your entire roster will be populated into one team. If you would like to split your team in two, then you have to go back into this side for the second team and create a new team. So, for example, Jackson XYZ, blue. You fill in your first part. God Soccer picks up your roster, recognizes that team is registered. Then you go back into the system again, okay, and you put another team, Jackson XYZ, white. You follow this registration with a different email. So you got to create a different account, different email, and password. Once you finish with that, your second team is in there. Does that make sense? I hope. At that point, once your registrations are in, you will get a roster form from the system where you can split your team uh, with other players. It's that simple. So the question that we are getting that, hey, I was able to register only one team, but when I registered two teams, this is how you do it. You register one team, 
under God Soccer. The second team is being that you, know, you register by splitting your team. You have to create a new team. Okay. Um, if you have, uh, um, if you have an issue, what will it happen? Should the event not take place? We just recently posted a message to everybody. Feel f- uh, comfortable in knowing that all the leagues and tournament registrations for youth soccer or youth futsal is done through God Soccer. Although teams, when you register, you have to put your credit card, you will not be charged on a credit card. You will not be charged until, until a team is accepted. And there's a clear explanation on our Facebook page that it kind of de- describes the process right here. Okay? So although you put in your credit card, you will not be charged. If you pay by check and you mail the check to our office, that check is going to sit in our office until we get close to the starting date of the event that we feel comfortable and the event is going to move forward. Other than that, nothing is getting um, cashed or processed. So basically, if you go to, let me just show you, to God Soccer, and I don't know why the machine is not working. Okay, here we go. So as you guys can see here, there's an option that says accept, decline, or wait list. All the accept teams have not been processed. Once you click the accept button, that's when your team will basically be charged on a credit card. This makes it a lot easier for us to basically um, not have to give any refunds. Okay, so the first thing is that feel comfortable if you are entering your team and for some reason the event doesn't happen, your process, your payment will not be processed until the team is accepted. At the same time, it makes it more difficult for us because now we have a very short window to accept all the teams, create brackets, and create scheduling. So please be patient and understand that we're doing this to accommodate all the teams in the league, but it will make the process a little more difficult in creating the schedule. So please don't call early or email us looking for a schedule. The schedule will most likely be re, re, uh, set out uh, the last couple of days before the event starts because of this particular uh, situation that we're in. It's either we're going to you know, accept all the teams and you, your payments are going to be charged right away, or we're just going to go the avenue that we just chose so it will avoid a lot of you know hassle with issuing a refund should the event not go forward. So number one, be rest assured that you will not be processed. Uh, a payment until the event is going to go through. Number two, be aware that your scheduling is going to take, you know, into the last few days before the event happens, before it's pu- it's publicized. Another key uh, question that um, we always receive every year, but this year um, you have to be more understanding is please don't register a team today and then in a week from now start asking questions about which teams are in your bracket or don't ask, you know, the favorite question of mine is, well, before I register, can you tell me what teams are in the tournament or in the league? That's even more difficult this year because, again, you have a COVID situation and everybody's dragging their feet to see what's going to happen with the state, with this, with that. My recommendation is this. Because there is no um, issue of you spending money and not getting refunded because of the procedure that we put in place, go ahead and register a team if you're – Seriously, considering playing in one of our events, tournament, or a league, please go ahead and register your team. The worst thing that could happen is that if your team or the event doesn't happen, well, there's no monies that need to be refunded to you. So I recommend to everybody to please register as soon as possible. As you guys can see, teams have already started registering, and then you do not have to worry. Um, talking about COVID, once you go into our website, and I don't know why my computer is not behaving well today, and I apologize for this. Once you go into our website and you 
find yourself in the league page, for example, please click on the return to futsal guidelines, okay? That will take you into everything that's going on in our league, in our venues, and how we are handling all the protocols for COVID-19. I recommend you scroll down and you look at the update 11-12-2020, which we have lo- uploaded the indoor considerations recommendation guide from U.S. Soccer. You can download it here and you can go over it. And the rest is sure that Sportica Sports meets all those guidelines because some of the key guidelines that are um, suggested by U.S. Soccer is new facilities, large facilities with good ventilation. Sportica is a state-of-the-art facility and new facility by most standards and other in comparison to other facilities in New Jersey. It's 175,000 square feet, so the issue of how many people can be there at the same time is met. And also the ventilation system, high ceilings, is a fantastic one. So it kind of meets all the mandated guidelines for play on indoor considerations by U.S. soccer. Again, I'm not going to go into details into this. I suggest you guys go on this website Scroll down, read everything that we are implementing, and um, I hope that you feel comfortable in that we have taken precautions to make your experience for your team and your plays and your players uh, a safe one. Lastly, I we recommend that you click on the next button here, which is the rules, and get familiar with the rules. Scroll down once again, read all the rules, especially if you're a new futsal team that has never played futsal before, or if you're a team that has not played in one of our events before. Scroll down, know the rules. Our recommendation is that you also forward this link to all your parents so they understand the rules. The main guideline this year is that you may have one parent per player in the events allowed in in the venues. Now, we've gotten some calls about um, managers or coaches inquiring that if we can't have, you know, everybody watching the kids, well, they can't enter the team. Sorry to tell you, but that's not in our hands. And anywhere you're going to go this year, uh, they're going to have the same issue. It's going to be a limited admittance for grown-ups who are, are now playing, it's mainly players and coaches. There are some facilities that currently are not allowing anyone in other than players and coaches. Here's the other problem that a lot, of, actually not a lot, all soccer clubs and teams are going to face. Because of U.S. soccer guidelines, a lot of smaller facilities will not be able to host any games this year. The same thing applies with the school system any leagues that are doing conducting um games in facilities that are in schools this year they will not be able to do it because the school system has basically shut down indoor facilities for the winter months at least to my knowledge as of now so in the state of new jersey the pool of choices or where you're going to play your indoor soccer this year has shrunk. There's going to be less venues that you're going to be able to attend. Um, I think that we have covered uh, everything there is to cover. Oh, um, one more thing. So for the, uh, if you're interested in your register in, Actually, a couple more things. If you're interested in registering, if your 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 player uh, does not have a team to play on, but is interested in playing futsal this year, we have a program that is called the Free Agent Player Program. Okay, so if you click on this link, the guidelines for individual youth players to looking for a play uh, to looking looking to play futsal are here. There are two options. 
So you basically can put your name on our database. And if a, if a um, team needs players, we will forward your player's name to that team. The team will contact you. And if you would like to play for that team, you can go ahead and play for that team. The second option is that if we have enough inquiries for a certain age group, boys or girls, we will put that group together, formulate a team, and they will be able to play in the league. All the details are here. By the way, this is 100% club neutral, so you may be playing with players that are playing for PDA, for SDA, for Cedar Stars, for Marlboro, for Jackson, for Howe. They all come together. In that scenario, there will be eight training sessions. You will play eight 40-minute games in the league. There will be player insurance included. There will be a jersey that your player will receive and a futsal ball that your player is going to receive. That package is here. You can go ahead and fill your free agent um, registration. Okay? So two options. Number one is you can just register, and your name is going to go on a database. If a team needs a additional players, we will forward your name of your uh, player to that team. And then if you decide to join that team, you can go ahead and play with that team. If you don't have uh, a team, but you would like to be considered for one of the teams that are going to be formed, okay, you can go that scenario and join one of these teams that are going to be uh, formulated. Once again, there is a minimum number. So you must have a minimum of eight players to formulate a team. If for any reason you register and your your group does not have eight players and you don't want to play on another team that we suggest, you will be refunded your registration fee. The same thing kind of applies for the adult leagues. However, the adult leagues will be a different presentation. Um, if you're looking to, if you're looking to uh, train with one of our programs, you click on the futsal training. There are two different programs: weekly classes and elite player training. And you can go in here, read all the guidelines, read all the details. So, for example, if you want to train with the elite player training, you click on the button. Kind of self-explanatory. It tells you what's included, when is it happening, the dates the uh, number of sessions available, 24 training sessions or eight training sessions, go ahead and register and you can start training. Once again, as of this date today, which is Friday, November 20th, 2020, Central Georgia Futsal is conducting training already that has began, is online to host the championship tournaments on December 12th and 13th. We are online to do our futsal leagues, and we are online to do our January and February tournaments. Nothing has been canceled. For any additional information, please don't hesitate to call us or email us. If you email us on the website, all the information on the bottom, okay, the email link is on the bottom here. If you would like to call us directly, the phone number is directly here. And we'll be more than happy to answer any questions. Um, we hope that we covered everything. Any additional questions, like I said, please don't hesitate to call. We look forward to seeing everybody on the courts, enjoying themselves, having a spectacular futsal season in 2020-2021 year. Have a great one.